All right, guys. Um, just enjoying the sunrise over here, over in Lamata. Just thought of doing an update and done one for a while. It's a little bit cold here because the sun's obviously still coming up. Uh, I just thought I'd do an update today. Um, Spain stuff's. We've got to the point now that we're talking to real estate agents because we're looking at buying an apartment here. Um, got three in mind at the minute. And one of them's quite funny because it's what I call some typical Spanish. And I know I'm going to get some of my Spanish friends complain about me saying that. But um, they advertise it for sale. And then go, but we're not here till March. <laughs> so, so there's one we're going to have a look at in March when they're here on holiday to, to, to buy that one. Because that one seems quite nice. Um, there was one I was looking at that was overpriced, but they just took it off the market, which tells me one of two things has happened. A, they've sold it, and if you bought it, you pay 20000 more than it was worth. Um, or they're repricing it ready for the, the rising up to the, the holiday period, which if they do, I should get an update saying that one's available, because I like that, because it's got a nice, nice large balcony on the front. UK works doing quite well, happy with that. It's not an easy job, it's pretty chaotic a lot of the time, pretty political, but keeps you on your toes, keeps it interesting. Also because it's got these spurts of work in the sense of, like um, this week I've got a little bit of a gap. Give me enough time to come home for a week, go back, and it's chaotic for the next two or three weeks which means I'll work a couple of weekends, which means, guess what? I've got time to come back to Spain again because they owe me the time again. So it's, that works in the company's favour and mine. So that's all going well. Um, what else are they talking about? Oh, you, one of the things I will recommend, guys, is... Switching off the media now and again, especially the news. News isn't news. This is why you've got news and entertainment channels. Guess what? There's no news. It's just entertainment. Um, they're often opinionated. They've often got an agenda. Um, they're often selling something. Now, because they're, they're driven by advertising. Now, the, the funny thing is, in the Philippines, I used to see it. Uh, around the election times because you'll get radio shows really slating a politician then the following day saying how great they are what changed their mind they paid them simple as that so they'll they'll run people down and then the following day change simply because they've had some funding thrown at them um to give it all their great sort of stuff because they've been paid and it's famous famous for doing it just watch for it in the elections if you if you don't speak the local dialect just ask some of the locals about it but yeah i used to um what's his name now i think it's bobby rivera um it used to be on quite a lot in cebu it's quite quite a famous uh disc, disc jockey well yeah this uh, I don't, th I don't think I ever heard him play music. It's more of a talk show type thing. But anyway, he was quite, he was quite good. Um, but th that's, that's somebody worth taking a look at. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the thing is, you, you look at like the Brexit stuff. It's just regurgitated, regurgitated nonsense over and over again. Then you're seeing all these people that are, say, selling um, legal services including UK.gov, saying, oh, you've got to do this, got to do this, possibly. Um, my best advice is just unplug it. Um, just wait. I know the we've got the incoming Brexit, which has happened last night. And I say incoming because nothing's really changed yet. In fact, coming through the Alicante airport was the easiest I've had since my first trip over to Spain. It was literally just flash the passport to the, the police as they, as I come in. There's no body scanners or any other stuff. That <coughs> I think maybe actually related to the UK side. Um, 
But yeah, it was literally just flash your passport and then you in you go and see you, which I'm quite happy with. Um, because my passport doesn't have a chip in it, so when they try to scan it, it never scans. So you spend about five times as long sorting your passport out, uh, passport control. Um. But yeah, it's just that that sort of thing's a little bit irritating. But if it's just flash a passport, I'm all for that. The water looks really good here, look. I don't know if you can see it glimmering. It's like, it looks like glass. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting set up properly here in Spain. We'll get the first apartment bought, rented out, and then on to the next. Things will be moving quite quickly in the right direction. And um, I've had a few people ask about La Mata because we've got, obviously we've got a few people here now that have moved over. Richard is down here, next apartment down across here. I'll try and get over and get hold of him this weekend. Um, there's a few people moved over. Um, what, what is it about La Mata? Well, what I find here is A, it's got good airport access because we've got two good a airports, um, one to the north and one to the south. Um, train infrastructure is good in the sense of you can get up to Alicante and pick it up there but they're also extending it south so that's been an ongoing saga for a long time bus routes are easy to access Torreja which is only about five minutes away in the car there's a bus station that can pretty much get you in any direction although the timing can be a bit awkward because the, Mid the Madrid one for example to the airport is it's twice a day, but I think it's the same bus. So it's like literally you go there, then it comes all the way back, then it goes back again. Um, but at the same time, yeah, the infrastructure is pretty good. You've got, you've got the beaches here. They took a bit of a hammer in, re hammer in recently, but they've already re-sanded it. So that's already recovered quite well. Got the nature part of that side. Um, and it's not too far to... I mean, I've got to admit, because the road infrastructure is as good as well, because we've got the N332, which is just behind these trees here, um, you can get around Spain pretty rapidly. So, like going to Granada, Barcelona, Madrid, Valencia, it's literally just hop on there and head everywhere, head in any direction you want. Same as you can head over to, um, head north, go into France, head south, go into Portugal. Um, the weather is good. I find the laid back atmosphere is pretty good. Um, the food's good. Uh, this, I think Spain's got over 60% organic food, which is a pretty good statistic. So we find a lot of the supermarket food is very good. As well as you can get the local produce. We've got multiple local bakers here. Um, same as local butchers, you know, the, even when you eat, like chicken meat, it's really good chicken. It's, it's not the cheapest, but you're not paying for cheap, you're paying for quality. So, yeah, enjoy it. And obviously, it's relaxing. I mean, you can hear almost nothing. It's a little bit of road noise, but it's just chilled out all the time. As soon as you get off that plane... A bit like when I go out to Cebu. As soon as you come down, the touch is down. You just feel like, I'm happy here. It's, you already feel a bit better. I've beat. Um, it's all positive stuff. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're looking for a relationship, unless you're over looking for ladies over 50, because we've certainly got a few of those around in um, Tolibeca area. There's hundreds of them, if not, th well, there's thousands. Uh, but if you're looking for the 20-somethings, that's where the Philippines, hands down, you're, you're more likely to come across somebody as an ideal partner. Um, but if you're looking for somebody 50s plus, companionship, etc., I'd say Spain, you'll, you'll find plenty of, plenty of single women here. Um, a lot of them have outlived their husbands already. <laughs> a lot of them uh, have sort of come over here and retired. 
Um, so yeah, so there's some positive sides to that as well. I also find because people are more laid back, it's less aggressive than some places. Um, I find the Philippines, it doesn't matter where you are, I haven't had anywhere which was really confrontational. Here, same. I mean, we don't have any binge drinking or anything like that where we are. Don't get me wrong, head north, you've got Benidorm, and your, the happy hours and things like that are things that the government's trying to change at the moment, They're trying to change the view of the place. Um, I think they've done similar things in Ibiza and um, I think Ayanapa as well. I think there's been changes about trying to change away from the getting drunk holidays and trying to change the image back to more of a relaxed location. Which I think is a good thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think people, within, within reason, <laughs> um, have got a right to enjoy themselves. But at the same time, when it starts impacting an area and whatever, I think we've sort of crossed that line. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, it's a good life here. It's not a... It's not a difficult life. That's, that's one thing I will say. I mean, a lot of people will talk about, oh, you can't earn as much money here, blah, blah. It doesn't cost as much to live here either. Um, the place I'm renting in the UK at the moment is more expensive than the place I rent here. <laughs> there you go. I've got, th you know, I've got a three-bedroom apartment here. This far from the beach. Um, and then I've got the place where near where I'm working, and it's costing the same. Um, I've got to admit the place in the UK I'm really not happy with. I'm looking at moving from there. But they, here, we've already moved to Torrebecca. Didn't like Torrebecca, come back. So I think this is where we'll be long term. Do like it here. Just chilled out all the time. I mean, even here, just stand, listen to the birds. Watch them flying past. Just a relaxed place, relaxed place. And I do, I do like the fact that we've got uh, more people coming here as well. Because why that's important is a lot of the older generations are, um, what's a polite, polite word, failing. You know, they're getting to uh, their final destinations and it's not to retire here. A lot of them have um, passed on. So it is important that some of these properties change over to newer owners, but also um, keeps the town alive. But also it's a good place to live. I mean, the internet here is lightning fast. I mean, we've got 100 meg fiber here, which is more than enough for, for what I need work-wise. Just at the moment, I need to be sitting with my client half the time while we're, while we're um, sorting out the budgets. But beyond that, I could do 90% of it from here. So the infrastructure's here. Technology's here. Beautiful location. But I don't know why, you know, working in the UK, I find a lot of companies are very focused on Sticking up posters about well-being, for example. Yeah, they could actually have people sort of come into the office three times a month and actually working from places like this. Because um, it's something I would proactively encourage. As long as the work's done, and I've got to, be, got to admit, that's one thing I, a few of my friends do struggle with, no matter where they go in the world, is because once they hit a new location, it's all shiny and new. So they want to try the new bar, the new restaurants, the beaches, the resorts, going to a club, uh, and then they let work fall by the wayside. But if you can keep yourself disciplined, I can't see why not. But I'm certainly loving it here. Um, things are a lot brighter this year. 
I mean, so I know it's the start of the year. I know Brexit occurred yesterday. But we'll see where that goes. Like I say, I'm not really worried about it. I was living in Europe before the EU set up. I mean, when I say EU set up, I'm talking about when they started rolling out EU passports, etc. Um, I was in Europe already before that. So it involved getting a stamp in my passport and all that sort of stuff. Do I really care? No, not at all. <coughs> Couldn't care less. Um, and I've got a funny feeling there'll be some funny changes going on in the next six months. And a lot of them won't actually involve any changes whatsoever, which is the funny thing. Um, but we'll wait and see. I'm just going to go and enjoy the day. I've had my first coffee. So I'm going to go down, see the kids. They've just woken up. Um, have a great day, guys. It's just a little bit of an update. Not a lot happening, like I said. I mean, there'll be updates with uh, when we buy the, the next flat. Um, one thing I will say though is try switching off for the media. We waste about 90 minutes a day on news, and it's not news, it's sensationalism, it's false media. Um, give yourself a break, try not to watch any of it this weekend. In fact, invest the same time on reading a book or something else, that's one thing I will say. Try and read a book a week, but if you don't have time, stop. Stop getting into the clickbait of going on the news media sites and things like that and then realising you've just wasted two hours because when you watch news articles, see another one on the side, you click on that, you go to another one, click on that, you go to another one. You've got time to read a book. You've got time to do an online course or something else if you want to change your career or move up in your career. Um, switching off to a lot of the news will give you that time. You've already been using it, or if you don't don't think I'm right, why don't you uh, just time yourself? How much time you actually use on reading newspapers, get, watching the news on the TV, and things like that, and then maybe spend the weekend not watching any of it, and then see if it made any difference by Monday. Because I I. I estimate, estimate that if you watch no media from a Friday night all the way through the weekend, that by Monday you've missed nothing. If there was a world-changing occurrence, somebody would tell you. They can't help but tell you. Um, it doesn't matter if you're in the wilderness or somewhere and when it gets supplies. As soon as you got there, they would say, have you heard about... Um, Give yourself some time back. But anyway, guys, have a fantastic weekend and take care.